Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Witch Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain and also the inventor of the Immerse Eclipse 4K Cinema. This is the new uh, black screen paint that we have designed. It's 4K black technology, that's what we call it, and it uses Smart Technology Gain times 7. Now, this uh, form of uh, black um, screen paint comes in two different forms. It comes in a spray and it comes in a roll-on. Now the spray is designed a little different. It's designed to be used with transparent screens. You can actually turn that screen into a transparent screen. You can coat any surface that's actually plexiglass or, um, or a sorry, plexiglass or glass and um, the image will transfer through on one end and out the other. Um, if you care to see that demonstration, I'll post it at the bottom of the comment section for you to check out. Now this is our new YouTube channel. We will no longer be posting uh, any form of new technology on the Crystal H technology screen uh, YouTube channel everything will be posted here on the Immerse 4k cinema channel alright so let me show you the advancements that we have here now this particular screen right here was sprayed this is rolled on rolled on these are different screens I have 158 inch 235.1 but behind it would be 140 inch 16.9 and the uh, 4k black technology get my camera to focus here a little better here it's gonna fight me a bit. Hold on for a minute. Let's see if we can zoom in on something or get something here. We can get the camera back right on. Okay, there we go. We're back. All right, and over here we have a 105 inch 235.1 also. Now let's check and see how far the measuring tape hits from our screen. Now, the cool thing about this is, like I said, you can coat this on anything. This is a sheet of plexiglass that I actually have I turned into a screen. I like it because it's very thin. I can just hang it up on the wall. Now I'm going to show you the difference. Now look, as you can see, look at the plexiglass. glass, all right? This is the one that's sprayed on. I'm going to show you something. Watch my hand, and you'll see my hand move back and forth on the screen. See, it's a difference. Now I'm going to come over here to the screen that's sprayed, that's rolled on. See what I mean? There's a difference. You can see the shadow of my hand. That's basically about it, all right? But over here, you will see the reflection of my hand. See? And you'll see the reflection of the measuring tape and the reflection of my dirty sock. But anyway, yeah, so it's a different formula. The spray is a different formula than the roll-on. Now, let's check the measuring tape. We are going to be coming in at 11 feet and some change. We're going to be using our Casio Long Throw Projector. This is a lamp-free projector at 2500 lumens. I've done this demonstration on 200 lumens. I'll also post at the bottom of the comment section also. This is a laser and lead hybrid projector. And as you can see, we are in a more than fully lit environment. There's no uh, medieval dungeon-like effect. Or basically in a pitch blackened environment. That's something I don't like to do because it pretty much shows your screen has a very poor gain. I watch a lot of demonstrations on black screens and a lot of them are done in very poor lit environments. All right, so let's begin. Let's take our projector off blank mode. All right, there we go. And let's begin. Oh, really quick, I wanna share this really quick. Now, this is the one that's used with the roller, which would be that one, that one, and that one. And that's used with the paint sprayer. Now, with the kit, we will be uh, giving, packed with the kit, will come with either one quart, two quarts, or a gallon for the spray on. Also, too, it will come with a Wagner paint sprayer. Yes, we will be packing in a Wagner uh, paint sprayer uh, with your kit. If you get the spray-on kit. With the spray-on kit only. And it will come with a surface and lead lights. All right, so let's go over here and let's begin. Imagine 11 feet away, 11 and some change, fully lit environment. Over top my screen is a high power fluorescent light. So this screen is taking in a ton of ambient light. It looks absolutely fantastic. Now I've seen people do demonstrations, like I said, on black screens, but you will not see this kind of environment when it comes to this kind of lighting. And number two, they use a high power projector. I've done this, like I said, on 200 lumens, fully lit environment. 
And as you can see, the floor is covered in white, uh, a white kind of protective covering or, or a drop cloth covering. The walls are white. I got a lot of light in here. This area generates a lot of freaking light. My projector is going to have to travel through uh, 11 and some change, 11 feet, say 11 feet, through all this light, hit a black screen and come back with a beautiful image. Now, if you want to, I have some people asking about painting their pre-existing projection screens, uh, painting their pre-existing, uh, uh, of um, um, what do you call the fixed frame screens? Yes, you can do that. You can actually, like I said, you can put this on a motorized screen, a manual screen. You can roll it up over and over again. It will not crack. It will not peel. Look at this. That is a black surface. Look at that. A black surface that's producing that kind of amazing color. Mind you, contrast, it is really hard to get good contrast on the screen. It is. You can go out and buy an expensive projector that's going to give you such a high contrast rating but you will not get the same performance that you need from that projector if you're hitting it on a screen that is either silver, that's either white or gray. You're just not gonna get the contrast level that you desire. Now don't get me wrong, we have screens called the uh, Titanium Gold. They have amazing contrast levels, they do. They outperform a lot of the high-end screens. As a matter of fact, the Titanium Gold beat the DMP Supernova the Infinity M Blade and also beat the Dark Star 9 and the Grey, um, Grey Cinema 5D. But next to a black screen, it's not going to be able to uh, compete when it comes to contrast. Look how the color is just radiating off that screen. Look at that. Now, I'll drop my lights here a bit. This is 2,500 lumens. 11 and some, and some change away from the screen. And look how bright that screen is for a black surface. One of the biggest problems that people have in their homes when it comes to a screen is the fact that they, they want to be able to turn on all their lights and be able to watch their movies or not so much movies but TV shows and sports events. You want to be able to watch it with the lights on. You don't want to be in the dark 24-7. If you're going to be actually trading in your TV for a projector, you want your projector and your system to react just like you would have a TV. Lights on. Look at that. Look how fantastic that looks. All lights are on. Nothing in the dark. Now look at the white levels on a black screen. And my projector does not have to be sitting right up on top of the screen in order to get a fantastic picture. Mind you, this projector has never been calibrated. 
We don't use any form of 4K upscaling. And my projector is still set in the factory default settings. Just right out of the box. And on top of that, now the spray on version is not weatherproof. Just wanna put that out there really quick, but the roll on is weatherproof. You can take this outside if you want. Gotta ask yourself, what kind of performance are you really getting from your projector? Okay, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. This is our new Immerse Eclipse 4K Cinema Screen Paint. Also, too, this is, actually, this is Immerse 4K Cinema Screen Paint, but actually, this is a spray on version of that screen paint. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I think I'm going to end it right about here. All right, thank you again all for your time. Um, I would say like, but we don't have likes on our channel. Uh, but you can subscribe. Um, so we have a lot of new stuff coming out for the new technology. We have a dedicated website uh, where you can actually only buy this technology at. And also, too, uh, we have another email address. We have some other stuff we got hooked up for this particular screen altogether. Check out our Facebook page, too. We have something going on on Facebook, which is pretty awesome. All right, again, thank you all for your time. And uh, I got to go.